welcome to the first of hopefully many um, melting pot air dry clay tutorials. Um, so today I'm going to be talking you through how to make a air dry clay pinch pot. So that's this. Something to put your plants in, your flowers in. Um, here's what I made earlier, true blue Peter style. I've got on my little workstation, which is my kitchen, <laughs> um, a fork, all will become clear, uh, a little dish of water um, with nothing in it, a, I'm going to move this as well, a little spoon, but I mean any spoon, let's get one of these spoons, a normal spoon, a spoon. Um, and my flowers that I want to fit in my pots. So we have got, the reason I'm doing this tutorial is that we have got an abundance of flowers and chilies and tomatoes and carrots and parsley and everything because in the first two weeks of us being shut in um, because of coronavirus I was just planting things, my partner was planting things and now they've all grown, we don't know what to do with them all. So, um, but it's been lovely to nurture them and, uh, and I'm really happy that they've grown. So you could do it with anything you've got, you could do it with a cactus or you could go and um, get yourself a lovely cloth stamp from one of the shops in town. So I'm just going to get my clay out of the bag now, I've, I've used half of it, so I've used about 200 grams of it, um, every bag should have about 400 grams, so I'm just going to weigh, that's just over 200 grams, so that's fine. Um, so these are the pots that we're going to try and replace, so we drew a smiley face to begin with, but they're getting a bit big. So I want it to be just that size, um, and then I can use it for my smaller plants and repot those when this grows out of this one. So the first thing that you want to do is just make sure that your clay is nice and moist still and roll it out into a sausage, but not a long sausage, like a short fat sausage. So I'm just going to keep rolling this out into like a cylinder shape. It's very satisfying. I've got to cook on this chopping board later, so <laughs> we'll deep clean that in a bit. Um, so, just like that, just like that, just like that, so you want it to be like a cylinder, like this. Um, and then I'm going to use my left hand, just the palm of it, as a base for my pot, so that while, while I'm pinching it, it's steady and sturdy. So, pop it on your left hand, or your right hand, depending on which hand you use to pinch with, and then push your thumb down into the clay, um, not all the way to the bottom, just leave about a centimetre from the bottom and then just pinch and as you're pinching you're pushing out and pushing up and pushing out and pushing up pushing out and pushing up and this is so that um, you don't end up with a bowl like this shape you want your pot to be tall um, and sturdy on the sides and if you make it too wide and because it's air dry clay it might just fall so you want it to be tall and wide within a wide base to go with it as well so you're pushing out and pushing up all the way around I'm just going to crack on with this um, this will take you quite a while um, and then I will speed this little bit up for you so you don't have to listen to me rambling on <laughs> So when I feel like it's getting a little bit um, um, thin on the sides, I'm just going to rest it on the ground on my on my base and um, work it up from from this base. And you can also um, use one hand on the outside, one hand on the inside to to finish it off if it feels like it's getting a bit weak. Um, I'm also just pushing down a rim in the bottom so that um, it's got a nice flat. Um, base for the pot to sit on when it goes in there or the plant to sit in when it goes in there and it's not going to fall over as well so just making sure that it's nice and sturdy 
So when you've got your rough shape of your pot and you're happy with it, so I'm pretty happy with that. You might want to be a bit taller but you can focus on that on another one. So I'm happy with that now. So this one has gone um, sort of, if you can see, it's sort of like low at the front and high at the back. So I'm going to keep that shape because I quite like that and it will mean that I can see when I come to paint it I could do a little um, pattern in there and I could see it from the front. So first thing I'm going to do is just check the shape and check the um, check the outside and make sure I'm happy with it. So I love all these little pinch marks. I think they're beautiful and that's the whole point of doing a pinch pot for me is that you can see all your workings and I love that. I think it looks great. So I'm going to leave all the all the um, lumps and bumps because they're lovely. But what I am going to do is just take a little bit of water with a finger and just rub in some of the cracks because again because it's air dry clay it's going to dry really, really quickly, so you might find that you get a few cracks along the way. So I'm just really, really softly going over some of those cracks, just to make sure that when it dries, it doesn't, they don't get bigger. Um, and then just that one up there. And um, also, it'll mean that when you do come to paint it, your your paint will sink into those cracks, so you'll get darker bits in the cracks and lighter bits elsewhere and you can sponge on it then and so I really love that. I'm a very big fan of just letting things do what they want to do um, with clay. So happy with that. I'm just gonna go around the inside rim and do the same. You can take so much time over this. This is just a guide for you. Feel free to pause the video um, as many times as you need for as long as you need. Me and my um, friends were doing a Bob Ross video. If you haven't heard of Bob Ross, he's a legend, you need to. Um, and he's a painter, he's an old school painter who did um, TV videos. And we thought it was going to take us 25 minutes because that's how long his videos are. But we paused it so many times that... We were there for about two hours, but the photo, the, the pictures looked amazing, so we were very happy. Um, so that is my my pot. So what I'm going to do on this one, which I haven't done on this one, this one I've left the rim because it came up quite even. So I've left the rim um, uneven, as you can see, but I've left it where it was. I haven't I haven't cut it down or anything. Um, so this one, because it's got that bow at the top there, I'm going to um, accentuate it, I'm going to make it more visible and I'm just going to cut down the, the front a little bit. So I've got a knife, if you need to, ask somebody else to do this for you um, and there is no need for such a ginormous knife, this is just one that was lying around. So I'm just going to cut off this top bit here. And you should always actually cut away from yourself. So that was wrong, Camille. And just that's all I'm gonna do. And that is the door. Hand sanitizer delivery for the shop. Brilliant. Um, oh, I've got to wash my hands. Okay. So now I've cut the top off. I'm just gonna get a tiny little bit of water and smooth off that. That room. And that's lovely for me, I think that's beautiful. So um, it's not a massive difference, but you can see that the, this, this part, hopefully, this part is lower than the top bit, the back bit. So that's quite nice. Okay, so um, I'm really happy with the shape and the height, and I can play around with it as much as I like. Um, I'm going to stop because this is a <laughs> tutorial. Um, and go on to the surface pattern. So, surface patterns, you can use absolutely anything. So I have got a spoon and a fork, and I'm gonna move that knife away. Um, you could use 
if you've got cake decorating things you could use those I wonder if I've got any little yeah so I've got like a nozzle here for decorating cakes with so even that you could just push it into the skin of the clay and just make an impression so it's like a surface pattern all the way around in fact I'm going to use that um, there's absolutely anything so have a little look around and see what you've got lying around because I mean even this which came off a um, a paint tin that we ordered online um, even that could make some cool patterns couldn't it so you could either use the side of it or the the top of it it was sort of holding the lid to the paint um, but I'm not going to use that I'm going to use this because I love this um, so I'm just going to rock it back onto its side and I'm really not putting any weight on it because once I've made the pattern I then don't want to push it round and, and flatten the pattern, flatten the pattern as it were. So I'm going to push this in just really gently and then lift it out. That is amazing, oh my god I love it. So this is a great, but that, this is not planned. So I mean think about what you could find, you could find all sorts. And I'm just putting my finger roughly under where I'm printing it so that I know this isn't going to go all the way through and if you do go all the way through don't worry um, just smudge it back in you could you, if you've got a bit of leftover clay or you could pinch some clay from the top and pack it back in inside and then you won't see it because it's on the inside so there's always a fix do not panic and if I haven't been through any anything you need a fix for just stop take a minute and just think about what you could do to fix it so think I think with your own mind because we all know oh that's not a very good one but I'm going to leave it okay that is wicked in fact I've never used this before for cakes so this is now I'm going to promote it to clay decorator not sure why I'm wearing a cardigan today either. it's very hot okay so I'm really happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave my two pots to dry. I've got this one here that I made earlier and this one that I've just made. I really love that pattern and what's going to happen is when I come to paint it um, is any pattern that I make on these pots um, that is where the paint is going to sink into so that is where the paint is going to be um, deeper or you could be very precise and paint into these little holes and have no colour elsewhere or you could just have a, a totally white pot so it's totally up to you but you've got two days to think about it because that's how long they take to dry so I'd seal your packet back up you can bring your packets back if you want them refilled um, or they, the clay does come into um, in packets anyway um, so bring those back if you if you can um, and now what I would do is I would get a clean piece of paper and design what you want your pots to look like so have a look at colour maybe go on a walk and think about a walk around your garden or just around your house and think about what colours you'd like the um, the pots to be you could even color the inside and have a totally blank outside there's so many possibilities so have a think about that i draw it out because you've got the time and then when we come back in two days time we can paint them together i'm gonna go and do the same for mine now i'm gonna draw out what i want them to look like and i think i might give these as gifts so i'm I, we were gonna keep them we need them actually but I think it'd be really nice to um, pop a, a tomato plant in one of them or just a plant out of the garden and um, and leave them on somebody's doorstep that I'm missing so I yeah I'm gonna go and plan my pot so good luck well done I hope you've paused this video lots and lots um, and uh, you're probably still doing it now I'm talking um, but yeah, well done, and um, I'll see you in a couple of days to decorate. Thank you for watching. Bye.